You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a familiar face who I haven't seen in a while, so I'm glad to see her back. Yes. Tini from Fuller, yes. welcome back. Good to be back. Good to see you. It's always <laughs> nice to see your smiling face. You're oh, always thank so positive. You. And thank you. You guys do great work over at Fuller Crown. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure being back here to tell you about it and have a chat again and just, mm -hmm. there is a lot going on. So what's new? What's the latest? What's upcoming? So right now we've opened registration for all of our workshops mm -hmm. and we've got some fabulous workshops. Our slogan for this year is find the maker in you. Mm -hmm. So we have pottery throwing, we have jewelry making, we have calligraphy, um, we have all kinds of um, wood turning classes mm -hmm. and uh, and Ukrainian egg decorating classes. So really, uh, go to our website, check out the workshops. Our new education coordinator, Sage Brousseau, has really choreographed a wonderful uh, lineup of courses. And um, I'm actually taking a pottery throwing class right now. Pottery so. throwing? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> it's an okay. introduction to the, to wheel throwing. So okay. you get the clay and you throw it on the wheel and you, wow. you shape it. And it's it's so much fun. If you ever wanted to try something, sure. making jewelry, mm -hmm. turning a wooden bowl, you know. That's interesting because every yeah. year at Summerfest, they yes. have wood turners come to Summerfest. Yes, yes, I've seen them. Are some of the same people you're working with? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, that's, yes. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm involved with Brockton Historical Society, and mm -hmm. they had some of the wood turners that took the Liberty Tree in downtown Brockton when it unfortunately got oh. cut down, and they made it into tables and oh, nice. bowls out of that. And nice. It, it's, it's nice to see something, even though it was sad to see the tree go. Yes, yes. It was good to see it have a different life in a different way. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. Okay, yeah. we have an exhibition called Bertram's Boxes Remix. Okay, okay. and. Um, um, John Bertram was a, a 17th century botanist, collected seedlings and had a, a, a huge garden that was developed. And um, so this beautiful garden, uh, some of the trees went down in, um, in a storm. Mm -hmm. And so the question was, okay, how do we, what do we do with these trees? Different artists came together and actually made art out of mm -hmm. the fallen trees. So, um, so there are just a number of different um, beautiful wooden pieces, carved, turned, um, that they are just amazing, that are made from the trees and from this garden. Happening? And it's opening this weekend. So okay. if you're listening to this in early January, yeah. uh, you want to, you know, uh, come to the reception on the 22nd, okay. which is this Sunday. Uh, and it'll be fascinating. We'll have people there talking about the whole process and um, the garden itself, but they're just fascinating little boxes. And that's you know. the opening reception, so it stays, how long is the exhibit okay. there so for? Okay, so it's going to be there until, I believe it's April. Okay. So, yes, definitely April 16th it will be on for a Day while. Day after taxes. Yes. So that's the way to remember it, okay? <laughs> Ex so that, exactly. If you want the reception, you go on the 22nd, otherwise, you know, a little bit of time. Exactly. There's there's plenty of time. Okay. Yes, and there are a lot of other exhibitions that are going on what too. What else? Tell us. So we have a Carrie Walensky Fiber of Life, and Carrie Walensky is a um, wonderful photojournalist who traveled the world. And we don't usually have photographs, but all of his photographs focus on how fiber is used in different cultures and ceremonies around the world. Okay. And it's it's beautiful. Some of the the photographs, you know, are just vibrant colors and and fiber being used in unexpected ways. And and um, yeah, it's really beautiful. Carrie Walensky, Fiber of Life. Okay. We also have um, John Bisbee, Material Obsession. And John Bisbee is a character, he's from Maine, he works with metal, and he, he uh, only works in nails. Mm. So for his entire career, he was focused on working with nails. And what he can do with nails is amazing. He did this whole installation at Fuller Craft that's, um, that he calls Out of the Garden. Mm. And um, when you go there, there's a huge kind of uh, serpent-like form 
made entirely out of nails. Wow, okay. Yes, so you have to come by and see that. If, if for nothing else, just to see <laughs> what one man could do with one material wow. <laughs> for, you know, many, many, many years. Um, and we also have uh, a, a Jewelry of Burning Man um, exhibition that's opening up in February, February 11th, and that's going to be really exciting. So if you've ever been to the Burning Man um, festival, there are all these um, there's jewelry that's associated, all these jewelry uh, makers and artists who come together. We're featuring the jewelry from that, mm. um, that festival, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of beautiful visuals of the Burning Man and the whole playa, and um, yeah, I really invite you to come and see see that kind of um, okay. that art. So yeah, a uh, lot going on. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay. We have our second annual wedding fair, that is on January twenty eighth. So again, if you're watching this in early January or mid January, <laughs> yeah. come to the wedding fair. It's Saturday. It's from twelve to four thirty. And um, if you're if you're thinking about uh, uh, marriage and you know planning your wedding, we have all kinds of vendors. We have over twenty vendors who will be there. Uh, we'll have a swag bag. We'll have tours mm. of the venue spaces. And you guys do so. rent out for weddings. Correct? Yes, yes. I went a long time ago to mm -hmm. a friend's wedding, and it was there. And it's oh. a beautiful place to have a wedding. Yeah. I, I just found out yeah. uh, my one of my brother lodges is doing an mm -hmm. event at the Fuller. Upcoming oh. for their installation. Oh, nice! Oh, a wow! Text message <laughs> oh, great! Not the one I'm in, but the one that's like our sister, our brother lodge, I should say. Oh, so, okay. Oh, excellent! You know, but this, it's. Yeah. I mean, if you think about, you kind of forget mm -hmm. with the W Field Park and Fuller. Yes. That you're in Brockton sometimes. It's just it's <laughs> so peaceful and serene, it and is. it's a beautiful space. It always has been, and yes. it's turned really around since it became craft. It's just turned into a whole new experience, I think. It, I, I hear nothing yeah. but positive. There are people that oh. come to Brockton from out of town. Yep. They, they they go to all sorts of other places, and they're like, this is, this is really cool. Yes, <laughs> that's great. Okay. Well, you know, craft, I think, is very accessible, and it's, it's just there's a lot of interesting materials mm -hmm. and interesting sculptures, a lot of objects, familiar objects, you know, that are transformed. So I, I you know, it is, it is a lot of fun working there and going there and seeing the different works of art. So, and yeah. February has school vacation in it, so I'm yes. sure you guys will do things for school vacation. We're week. going to have Sensation Day, the Thursday of February school week, so mm -hmm. um, February vacation week, so definitely um, it's a family-free day. We'll have all kinds of activities planned and it'll be a lot of fun. You mentioned website. So, Just tell us what it is and the phone number for uh, those that yes. want to do that. It's www.fullercraft.org, mm -hmm. or you can call 508-588-6000, and you can talk to one of the lovely people in the museum shop, and they will give you um, more information. So, And yeah. also, Thursday nights are still... So Thursday nights are still free from 5 to 9. Mm -hmm. It's free admission. It's a great time. So you can time. sample it. And you can check it out. You can sample. You can check it and out. And you can be a member. And you can become a member too. Yes, right. yes. Uh, mem you know, members are the lifeblood of actually the museum. So we really do look to get more and more members. And you can oh. use your membership for many things. You get free admission all the time. Well, we're going to bring you, you know. back. So <laughs> you and I could talk for half an hour. I just got the high side. Oh, okay. There. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Titi. Thanks. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for having we'll, we'll me. We'll bring you back next month. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.